So welcome back to the channel everyone, Triple M here, and today it's Friday, and a lot of people are starting to report that Downloader cannot be found in the Google Play Store if you're on Android TV. So uh, today's video, what I'm gonna do is uh, verify that Downloader is gone, MIA, no longer in the Play Store. Then I'm gonna show you guys how to quickly install it on your Android TV. When I'm talking Android TV, this should work on your Video Shield TV, on your Mi Box, and any other device running the Android TV user interface. Uh, this should also work for your Google TV devices, because at heart, they're all the same, just a slight change up on the UI. So this video shouldn't be too long. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Let's go. All right, so for anyone that doesn't know what Downloader is, Downloader is a, a very useful application. Primary reason why streamers use it is because they can use it to directly get to some of those websites to download third-party applications and install them directly to your Fire Stick, to your Nvidia Shield TV, Android TV, Google TV device, uh, mostly any Android device. Downloader has been a useful application for years. So looks like Google pulled it from the Play Store. Let's go ahead and we'll just try to search it just to see what we end up with. So if I go to my apps, I'm gonna open the Google Play Store. I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna hit the search. And of course we can either talk into it or we can type it. Let's try talking into it. Downloader. All right, so we search downloader and <laughs> we have no downloader. So that's where the problem lies. <laughs> um, but like I said, this is pretty straightforward, easy to get up and running. Basically a couple steps and you should have downloader installed on your device. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our Play Store. We're gonna download the browser. It's called TV Bro. Uh, TV Bro, as for now, can be found directly in the Google Play Store. Um, seems like Google haven't pulled it yet, so, so we can all clap that up. But um, all we gotta do is type or search for TV Bro. Let's give it a shot. TV Bro. All right. So TV Bro is a, a web browser. It's not gonna be a fancy looking browser, but at the heart, it does what it's supposed to do. It is lightweight. It is gonna get you to utilize, maximize your search using the Google search engine. It is lightweight, it is open source, and it's just a good addition, in my opinion. Even if it hasn't been on your radar, this is something you should definitely um, consider just giving a shot. So once we download it, we are gonna need to make sure that it can install third-party applications, and I'm gonna show you one way how to get into it now, but there's another way once we download Downloader that I'll show you how to enable. It. So to get TV Bro to be able to install third-party applications, we're going to go to our settings. We're going to go down to applications. All right. We're going to go to security and restrictions. Where it says unknown sources, go ahead and click on that. And you should see TV Bro on here. And what you want to do, uh, you're going to want to make sure that this application can install apps on your Nvidia Shield or whatever Android TV device you're using. So we're gonna go ahead and click that on. And now we're gonna go ahead and go back into TV Bro. All right, so TV Bro should look something like this. Like I said, very lightweight browser and I, I actually like it. Just gives you better performance, gives you what you need to get everything running. You can see it has the mic input, has the X, you have recent favorites, your download tab, incognito, and you do have some settings that you can play with. And if you go further down, you can see you have the full um, Google engine, search engine at your disposal. But what we're gonna do is put in a URL, and uh, this is gonna be a tiny URL. It is gonna be a direct download link to APK Pure. And the cool thing about this is that if Downloader updates in the future, this URL should still work. When they automatically update, that will be the same link that we're using right now. So we're gonna put in this URL in our browser. It's gonna be https colon forward slash forward slash uh, bit.ly. forward slash and for this part you want to make sure you pay attention to the uppercase lowercase uh, this is going to be case sensitive so uh, just put it exactly how you're seeing it here and I'll go ahead and put it on the screen so you can go ahead and follow along it's going to be 421 lowercase z um, uppercase wy so we're going to hold 
the shift and it should um, switch with that little line which means it's um, caps lock so we're going to put wy and we're going to go back and hit the shift again and we're going to put lowercase w so just like it looks here guys https colon four slash four slash bit.ly four slash four two one z w y w all right we're going to hit search all right you can see at the bottom download started all right um so we're going to go ahead and click on the download you can see right there apk pure apk we're going to click on it all right so if you're someone who haven't used tv bro um, to install applications before you are going to see this pop up pretty straightforward again we're just going to hit our settings all right and we just give it a second for it to pop up all right don't see anything nothing to see here i'll go ahead and blur all those out <laughs> um, but tv bro if it's not checked that means that you're not allowed to install apps from it um, as of yet so we're going to turn it on and we're just going to hit the back button all right so should bring you back here we're going to go ahead and click on it again now we're going to click install all right so apps installed uh, we can either open it or we can hit done let's go ahead and hit done all right now we can just go back home and if we go to our apps we should see downloader right here all right again downloader just click allow and you can see downloader is ready to go so pretty straightforward like i said not sure what's going on with google and downloader we know that we've seen similar spats with google and other applications notably um, es file explorer which the reasoning behind that is that google said that they were targeting ads and they pulled it from the play store so i wonder if something similar is going on here but cool thing to know is that there's an easy way to get it um, however since we just use tv bro to install an application do you really need downloader to install an application technically don't as long as you can get a browser that allows you to download and install applications so tv bro for instance if you went to apk pure you can go in there and you can search for whatever application you need and you should be able to download and install it so the days of relying on a single application to download or install applications those days are over so that's how you get downloaded back on your android tv um, let me know in the comment section if this video helped um, like i said a lot of people are starting to report it i know myself went into the play store was not there to be found so uh, something's definitely going on but for now we do have a fix to get downloaded back if you're new to the channel subscribe smash the notification bell thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next one